right there, fist it. How do I make this bigger? At first, they just started blowing it. Now she's got to hold that in the mouth. Last night, this guy pinned me down and he raped me. I don't understand. I can't do anything with people shoving shit in my face. Dad, welcome to the Big Dave and Chloe Show. Big Dave right here with you. I uh, got uh, Mel coming on her way. She's right now uh, heading this direction. Also, the awesome Chloe is in route as we speak. Uh, filling in, uh, in for just a few minutes here towards the beginning of the show, I asked uh, the uh, the awesome Brandon, uh, who is our, uh, our owner of the BarLive.com, as well as uh, a genius promoter, by the way. I want to let you know that. Thank you very much. You I'm very not much. trying to kiss your ass or anything. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I mean, if I wanted to kiss your ass, I mean, I'm sure you would let me, though, right? Uh, you know, hey, go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. What's up? What's up? What's up? Good to have you on the show. Glad to be here. So, uh, apparently, there's a lot of things going on. I figured, you know what, uh, we're, we're trying to do something a little different. You know, we, we want to hit on maybe some of the big uh, stories going on and, and, and uh, let people know that we can, in fact, even though, you know, we, we do like dick jokes and, uh, and we uh, are a show based on... Uh, helping you with your sex life and relationships, uh, we also are capable of talking about the serious subjects. Sure. You don't believe a damn word I'm saying. I'm trying to believe you, but what are you about to talk about? Well, first of all, uh, I heard that we have breaking news, and uh, I've asked Jimmy, who is our producer and board operator, to enlighten us in case you have not already heard about this big news, and he's going to tell us why it is big news as well. Jimmy, are you over there? Well, hold you on, got, before you, we do that, wait, I think no, we have a PSA to do. We do? I think we're at 35 second mark. All right, what was the word? Unity. That is the main word. We must have unity. And of course, there's lots of big things going on this week. We had the, we had the shooting in uh, Colorado. We had, uh, you know, the, the problems in, in Dallas with the p- police officers, um, you know, and yeah, the and that's the biggest there, concern where it comes riot. from is, is the community gathered around a, such a tragic thing that happened. I know that me exactly. and Jimmy were both talked about this on the air the other day. We were touched by it. Uh-huh. I mean, somebody asked me the other day, uh, hey, there's a there's a flag uh, flying half-staff. What's that for? And I'm like, take your pick. Yeah. There's like three major things going on right now. And uh, anyway, unity, people. Let's let's get together here and let's, let's, try to, let's try to work out these differences that we have with one another instead of, you know. Yeah, we should start with the shows, in fact. Let's try to become more unified as shows, in fact. Yeah, we, we should hold each other's penises or something. Our hands. No, nah, penises is better, because then, you know, at least you get a little stimulation by it. See, now, this is a PSA gone bad. Is it a PSA gone bad? I think is that, so. Is that where it goes south, is when I say the word penis? Yeah. Or just holding the penis? Uh, well, listen, we've obviously we've touched on the whole penis thing. Let's get off touching the penis. Back to world news there, Jimmy. World news, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I I really thought that Dave was was gonna, was gonna read up on it. No, um, no, not really. I think it's his show. He should probably handle it, Jimmy, don't you? Nah, no, 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 no. Who needs that? Well, I, I just I feel like it would be almost embarrassing if I was to bring up this event and he didn't already know that it was going on. Okay, fine. Look, and he he just slept right through that. Look, I so. had I had to take a nap before I came in because I was putting together a console last night until like seven this morning. And I, I had things to do. I'm sorry I didn't know that this just happened. Now that our, our listeners are, wait, are waiting and want to hear it, tell us about it. Dude. I think they already know what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure by now. <laughs> I think we're a little late. And yeah. Damn it. Obama's already come out and talked about it. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it, though, Dave? Because I do not follow politics or I, war. and I, really I don't s- either, and this isn't a political show. So, I, once again, that's another reason why I wouldn't have really done much research on but it. It's a world event. <laughs> I mean, it kind of it's a world everything. event, but, you know, <laughs> hey, it, the world happens. We're just going to gloss over it? No. Oh, I we just, are going to cover it? N- I just want to know from Jimmy. Let just Just let me hear from Jimmy. Jimmy, talk to me. Well, North Korea is invading God like damn. multiple countries right now, Dave. And you, you, uh, North Korea is. Yeah, and you just slept right through this, apparently. Apparently, I now what? What countries have they have they gone after now? Uh, it just seems like they're just taking their pick right now. They're just. <laughs> does this show support the military? First of all, I don't even know. Does the big Dave and Claude? Do y'all have a stance? Of like course we, we do. Like Sunbrew helps the wounded soldiers. We're involved in that. Are y'all actively involved in the military? And nobody's actively involved in the military on the show. We're not serving, but uh, do you guys support them? Do you show up? Do you fundraise? Do you give? Do you ch- do charities for them? What do y'all do? To, do y'all participate in the military at all? 
I give kudos to the military. Uh, we also well, that's not going to help. Yeah, <laughs> that does a lot of good. Hold yeah. on, no kudos. <laughs> Hold on, wait a second. Hey, don't worry, guys. That gave that guy gave us kudos. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a brand of chips or something? Kudos that they sell at the store. Hey, assholes, shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Listen up. I support our troops in any way possible that we can. Uh, they, they, they go through a lot. And just so you know, my shows are very well known for having a lot of Marines that listen to it. And uh, we, su- we support the Marines and any armed forces, for that matter. Uh, matter of fact, I know right now uh, there is a troop in Iraq that tends to listen to our show on a regular basis in the mess hall. Well, that's and good so for those guys that are kicking back, relaxing. Now, what about the ones fighting as we speak that are doing part of the invasion? Dude, that don't getting- even mess with my guys eating chow right now. All right. Okay, don't even go there because, you know, that's just not... They, they've, right. been, they've already been out there doing that today, and all they want to do is chill and relax. One question, though. Should the U.S. get involved in what's happening right now? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Damn it. Tell me a little bit more about it, Jimmy. I, it's actually just happening right now. It just seems like it's getting out of control. <laughs> All right, so far, Nor- uh, what is this, North Korea uh-huh. there, ha- has attacked who? Uh, multiple different countries. Give me some countries. Um, South Korea, for one. South Korea? Yeah. Okay, well, that's like, you know, across the street. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I just, I, I'm, there, I'm just saying that there's more countries. What are the countries? I, I'm, I don't know. It just says that there's more, there's more stuff going on. It's breaking right now. And, and he was talking about my me doing. I mean, it's okay. So we'll just keep an eye on it. That all right? Yeah. We're not we're not worried about them possibly attacking us, are we? Is that is that sure is that what is that what we're all freaking out and worried about? Jimmy? And I guess it could be. I mean, who's going to come attack? No one attacks us here, though. They're going to attack us over there where we have bases and people hanging out, right? Okay. I I don't know. You never know nowadays. There's just, so many crazy things going you know, on. So many know. crazy people. You, you never know uh, what what uh, what little what little hole in the wall they're going to be able to uh, squeeze through that we don't see. You're talking about the glory hole. This isn't a time to joke. Yeah, it could be. You, you don't know what kind of glory hole we're going to, you know. All next right. thing you know, you're bending over and you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Wow, dude! Really, the first we're trying to <laughs> Jimmy. We're discussing world news. We're talking. We just did the whole thing about you. You've heard about the the uh, NBOB. The national broadcasting, whatever. So basically, we had to do oh, the yeah. whole thing about unity, and he's not aware of it. We covered that. We went into the whole thing that's going on in Korea, the attack, and now we're going to go into the glory hills. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This show is about a. I'm a guest, dude, but I'm just. Is, is I that, don't know. Is that metaphorically speaking, I guess, Dave? Or are you literally talking about glory holes? I was technically talking about glory holes, oh. <laughs> actually. But uh, anyway, a lot of stuff going on in the news. Uh, obviously, North Korea is uh, freaking out. I, I don't know. You know, you asked the question, should we get involved? Uh, do we? The question in my mind is, do we have the money to, you know, at this point? Or, or should we just, uh, should we maybe possibly just kind of chill out and wait and see, like, uh, who all they're trying to kill? Yeah, we'll just sit back and watch. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. I'm just saying. Let's just chill out, and have a seat, and smoke. Do you think they're going to like come across in those old school planes and do it old school? Yeah, I mean, you know, once we start seeing some of those planes with little red dots on them, you know, maybe we should possibly take a, take an opportunity to the kam- all right. kamikazes fill up our planes. Now, Bob, we've got clothes in the house. What's I'm going to introduce your guest here. He showed up. <laughs> He's the man, the Dave and Close shot. He's just sitting here. I, you didn't introduce him. He's I, it's because I'm waiting for that. I, I'm waiting for you to shut up so I can get to that. You're uh, talking more than I am. I, I need to because I know more what's going on. Well, you're not talking about it. You're, you're saying this. You're saying oh, that. You're wanna, talking about glory holes. You're I talking don't about hog my the penis. spotlight and throw my political beliefs into you're gonna your have show. To, you're going to have to turn him down. He's too loud. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm here. Just continue. All right, hey, basically, Chloe. Chloe's hey. joined us. That's a sideways mic, though. Remember that? Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, Chloe's in the house. Chloe, we're not going to even get into you because obviously hey. Dave's run the whole topic of conversation. I'm, I'm still trying I'm sure to get you covered <laughs> it. I'm sure you got talked about it on the other show you're part of. Oh, yeah, of, of course. Um, <laughs> what the hell, dude? Yeah, that was yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy, but I didn't know where you guys were at on that. So Okay, well, we just started talking about it. Anyway, okay, so North Korea, once again, if you would shut the f- up, I would be able to get to where I'm trying to go here. You ready, Brandon? Go, I'm ready. All right, so... North Korea is attacking other countries. We don't really know where we're going at this point, okay? We don't know what's happening. All we know is that, it, it, as Obama said, what did, what did Obama say? Did he say we had to, like, you know, watch our ass and, and be careful for glory holes or what? What did he say? There hasn't been an official statement yet. Yeah, he hasn't taken an official stance on it to be either. He kind of seemed like, it seemed like me in the reports I heard, probably you too and Jimmy, mm-hmm. is it seemed like he was just kind of, like, shuffling around, didn't know what to say. And, I, you know, usually Obama is very well-spoken. 
He's very just to the point. Not at all today, man. Not at all. Yeah, well, you just one of those things to where he just kind of made a blanket blanket statement and said a whole bunch of things without saying anything. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. So you got that going on right now. You've also got the uh, Obama urges tighter background checks on gun buyers because of the Aurora thing in Colorado. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just wanted to... I, had a, on that? I have an opinion about this. You know, this is obviously in the news all over the place. I haven't had a chance to talk about it because we're on on Thursdays. This happened on, what, what was it, Saturday? Uh, the Roar Tag. Uh, Friday night, actually. Friday or, night. No, Thursday night because it was a midnight showing, right, Jimmy? Yeah, it was. Okay, okay. Thursday. Technically Friday morning, but Thursday night. Okay, so I, I haven't had the opportunity to uh, give my uh, thoughts on this. Obviously, you guys know about uh, what happened. In his, uh, in, his broad, in his broadest remarks on the gun control yet in the aftermath of the mass shooting at a uh, Colorado movie theater, President Barack Obama called late Wednesday for tougher background checks designed to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and mentally ill. Right? Okay, let's just stop right there. That's all the story that I really need to hear. Because I have an opinion about this. Uh, not that anybody gives a shit, but I'm going to give you my opinion because it's my show and I get to do that. I'm just listening. Just wonder if, if this this kind of gun control in, in Korea or not. Yeah, <laughs> I don't just know. Curious. I don't know. Uh, okay, so first of all, it, there's all kinds of crazy crap going on with this thing. People saying that somebody's got to be responsible for paying off for all of it. Hey, look, the dumbass who shot everything up is responsible. Uh, number two is you know once again let's get to common sense, people. They're, they're wanting to shut down the theater now. Uh, people saying, oh, we should shut it down. It shouldn't be there anymore, blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on. People, really. How many stupid people do we have in America that, that, that just come up with this bullshit? And why in the world are we taking them seriously enough to put them on national news? To, to put these stories on national These are the kind of things that, in my opinion, when we're walking around every day and you hear somebody say some moronic remark like that, you just kind of go, Pfft. that guy's a fucking moron. You know what I'm saying? You walk away from it, okay? But but for some reason, the mainstream media is like, oh, this is a good story. And, we should go with this. Yeah, maybe we should shut down the theater. And then you've got Obama coming in and saying, oh, we need, we need stronger gun control laws for the mentally ill and the criminals. Guess what, people? Mr. Freak over there, who uh, is a bad actor, by the way. I'm sure you've all seen the video. And you know, um, was not a criminal. And if he was mentally ill, nobody knew, okay? Okay. So it wouldn't have affected him if the laws were different. Are we? No, yeah, are yeah, we a, crazy, a, a, crazy's, a crazy's a crazy. I mean, everybody's chiming in, in on this. Actually, to tie it back into Korea, there was somebody wrote on a blog today, wasn't on a news site, wrote on a blog today, that the Koreans were going to actually target that movie theater because all this junk was going on. Oh, really? Like, it was, well, it was on a you know what I'm yeah. pissed about is really? the fact that somebody had the audacity to say it was something to do with Redbox. I mean, what the hell, dude? Who's what? Did someone had the audacity to say that Redbox uh. was somehow involved in part of this whole thing that happened in Colorado. Insane. Really? No, yeah, you know the Redbox okay. thing you rent, you rent movies out of? I, I, I don't even... I, I'm, I mean... It gets stupider yeah. and stupider and stupider. People, what happened was a tragedy. It was horrible. But the bottom line is there are freaks out there in our own country, not just in other countries. We have our own terrorists. Are you referring to South Dallas? Amo living amongst us. What? Are you referring to what happened in South Dallas two nights ago? It, no, I'm not referring to that yet. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sit back and relax. If I said the words <laughs> South Dallas, Brandon, then you would know I was referring to Well, you said South in our own country, South Dallas is part of this I'm country. Follow along. Or do you not recognize that Fo part of town? Follow along. Okay. Now you lost my train of thought. You know I have a small brain. Pe people in this country. Where was I? Yeah. And I'm you weren't including South Dallas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. People in this country are morons. It happens everywhere. Okay, not just in our country, but in every country, you're going to run across some crazy people who've got some mental problems we're not going to know about. My point is this, my opinion that I'm trying to stay on is the idea of having more gun control things. Look, the only mistake that's been made here, the only gun control issues that we need to change, once again, people, common damn sense, even a retard like me can figure this one out, is that if you're a free American with no criminal record and you're not mentally ill, how many effing guns do you need in your house, number one? How much ammunition do you need in your house, number two? Simple, people. Now, if you want to have gun control laws, it's real simple. If you're a normal person, if you've got 72 guns in your house, there's probably an effing problem, okay? There's no reason to have that many guns in your house unless you're a dealer. 
and then you got to have gun control issued licenses and so on and so forth. So we're not talking about them. What if you're just a collector? Collector yeah, still should be stars. seriously looked at, and I think they are already by the ATF. Now, on top of that, this guy was was getting a, sh- a shitload of of ammunition from all over the place. This is also something we need to control, okay? It's two simple things. There's, look, if, if you got a gun in your house, a 45 in your house, and it's for protection, you don't need 76 boxes of ammunition for the bitch. Are we still okay? talking about the guy from Colorado from a week ago? Yes, we okay. are right now. I'm listening now just because Korea okay. is happening in South Dallas happened two days oh, ago. Oh. Okay, hold on just a second. You, you're so excited about getting to everything else. Well, I'm trying to get current. I'm not living in the past. I'm sorry. I apologize, dude. That was last Thursday night, though. Am I right? Yeah, but... The yeah. Obama story just came out. Oh, okay. I'm good. All right. See, if you'd shut the hell up and maybe you did your research, you'd understand. Allow me to do my show. <laughs> Why is he even here? I thought... I. Are you trying to... Are you no, trying, I'm trying to, make to me keep mad? up. Are you, okay. Well, then... Duh. But you know what? Some of the some of the points that people that people have <laughs> that he people are having with this is 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 they're they're saying this. They're saying you know what? Okay, you could I, I understand where you're coming from. You know, too many guns, too many guns. But one gun can kill just as easy, and because they can only carry one at a time. Well, that's the whole point. There's not it, there is no issue here. Because a person with 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 five thousand guns could be harmless, and a, a person with one gun can be. You know what I mean? Exactly. Th- that psychotic person. Well, the the bottom the bottom line is, the, the, if we wanted to make some kind of gun control, make people feel all fluffy and warm inside, let's just make sure we know who's getting all the ammunition, who's getting all the guns. That's all we need to know. And whether with, they're mentally ill, criminal or not, I, we need to know. And I, you know, I and I think it's one of those things too. Is all you got to do is um, do do something to restrict or anything like that, and you're just going to make people feel better and people stop bitching. Right. You know? And there's no point. There's no point in uh, what we have done so far uh, as far as uh, this whole gun control thing is. is, is we're, let's not spend any more money than we have to because this one moron uh, freaked out and did some horrible act. Okay? Yeah, and also, too, if they were to all of a sudden pass this big gun control thing, who's, who's, who's going to go pick all those guns up? Right. Exactly. <laughs> and who's going to pay for it? <laughs> put, aside the, put aside the cost. I'm just saying, who's going to knock on the door and go, hey, um, we need all your guns? The guys at Pawn Stars would love to do their American Pickers. <laughs> right. There's a lot of value in guns. This is the most serious topic you guys have ever had since I've been watching your show, by the way. I well, you, you missed that. last week. We were talking about abortion. I caught part of last week. I listened to you. I want to go to sleep. I put it on my phone. You were playing with your phone? No, I played it on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, all I right. talked about abortion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you should listen to the show more often. But how do you how do you play it on the phone? Because you can you just uh, go to the thebarlive dot com yes. and click on and the I, deal and I it, it comes on up. YouTube or your podcast, and then I'll listen to it. Oh, oh okay. So, so you, I, mean, I was th- I was thinking about live, but okay, no. all right. So anyway, okay, well, which well, leads you, us you can listen to it live like right now on your phone. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Okay, we've got to figure that out. Which which leads us to uh, the more current events, which I haven't done a lot of research on because I haven't. Uh, you know, I'm not really a politically motivated person. I did hear that the whole South Dallas thing happened. Now, did this guy get get shot because he was running and then it created a riot? Or did was the, I, from what I heard, the guy said, "Hey, you're going to have to kill me." And so the cop goes, "Okay." What, wow. I mean, like, if you, did you turn on a t- your TV at all? <laughs> I was thinking. I'm, I'm telling you, I've had a really interesting week. And I, I wouldn't go into it, but it might bore the hell out of most people. Okay, but I will tell you this: I've been very uh, preoccupied. Okay, no, I got you. Well, Smitty from On the Bar Live that's out there, he went actually went down there. He didn't have an actual press pass, and as a white guy, he kind of stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so he did get down there. He did talk to a few people. We didn't get the audio the way we wanted to because he used his cell phone. He thought he was an idiot. But Smitty reported that basically the guy ran out of the house. He got into a struggle with the actual cop, the officer. Uh, in the struggle, the, 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 guy, the officer was trying to handcuff him. At that point, upon trying to handcuff him, the guy made the comment, you're going to take me, or I'm going to die. Or we'll yeah, you're, you're, you're going to, uh, uh, to I'm not, you're gonna kill me or because I'm not going in. Okay, now what is that? So at some point, the the, the um, offender, the guy that was the assailant or whatever, I guess. The perp. It, the, perp the perp was getting the better hand. They yeah. got enough struggle. He was on, he apparently he was getting the better of the officer. So the officer pulled his gun and shot him. The question is, would the, did the bullet enter 
in the front or the back? Now, they say the bullet came through, it was in the front, according to the police. The reports are he got shot in the back and the exit wound was in the abdomen in the front. If that's the case, if it's shot in the front, I don't know, either way it's screwed up. But Yeah, because if he's in a struggle... Then you know it's where, where is he? What is he supposed to do? So okay, to, to I have turn him around. If he's fearing for his life, he's you know. I I just so happen to have some intelligence on this particular situation, and uh, allow me to use what little intelligence I have. Uh, first of all, I used to work security for the government years ago. Had a you know big e, you know e blah blah clearance, and uh, I watched over a lot of military stuff. And um, I also did a lot of work in Oak Cliff and some other places that were very dangerous as a commissioned security officer. Now, with that being said, uh, security officers have a very limited amount of things that you can do as a security officer when it comes to protecting yourself and others. Uh, first of all, and first and foremost, you must only be able to use the same amount of force that is used against you in a situation. Okay? Now, with police officers, they're trained during the, in the academy to have the same motto that you should only use the same amount of force that is used against you in order to subdue, subdue a suspect or, or a perpetrator or whatever you want to call them. Assuming they don't have any weapons. Assuming they don't, yeah. Now, now, if that person has a weapon, you are allowed to use a weapon of equal or lesser strength. Okay, now, there was no way of knowing whether this guy had a, a weapon or not. He did not show a weapon. Nobody said that he reached for a weapon. Therefore, the cop uh, was using the amount of force that the perpetrator was using against him, which was trying to wrestle him to the ground. Now, if he needed help, he should have, in any case, asked for help from another officer. Even in the confusion, they are trained to do this. But I don't think. So does he, he say stop, help? <laughs> yeah, because no, at, he this, at this say point, stop. He says help, help, help. Why he's trying to get this mother down? Yeah, know? but the thing is, though, is the uh, the officer saw a gun in the house and. Uh, uh, okay, now we're speculating, though, Clo. No, 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 no. The officer saw. Here's what the deal is. Officer, yeah, you're speculating, but but for good cause. Officer saw. There are three officers. Uh, three people in the house, at least. They saw a gun on the table. Then they saw three perps run out the back, and the gun was missing at that point in time. Who is to say which which perp had the gun? Well, there is no way of saying that. But until the gun is shown. You are liable for being a police officer and professional enough not to use deadly force, which you've been trained to use. Okay, now I, I'm I'm not saying that the police officer wasn't terrified and scared for his life. I'm sure he was, and I'm sure he made a mistake in in handling his fear. Maybe maybe training needed to be a little bit more aggressive for this particular guy. Maybe he needs to take a while off to reevaluate his training. But most police officers are able to control their uh, they're able to control that adrenaline that's running through their system. But this is a, this is a drug house, and uh, he could have. You, you know, I mean, if you're on if, okay. you, if you're on PCP or something like that, a <laughs> taser or something like that is not going to work. Well, taser is going to have to be what you're going to have to use. You have to taser. Well, if the it doesn't work, it doesn't doesn't work. And also, too, the um, what are the re re well, which one's better, Claude? Go ahead and shoot the guy and kill him dead, and, and take the chance of him not having a weapon. And you find this out, and it's all like it happened. Yeah, happened. And, and part of. The, or is it better just to say, "Screw it, let the guy run. We'll catch him tomorrow." Well, what the deal is, he was the guy was reaching down into his pants. D doesn't know maybe, what. Maybe, maybe he. There's yeah. lots of maybe. Was looking but, for a glory but, hole. You know what? 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 What chance are you, are, are you going to take? This I is don't a know. very similar story to that Trayvon kid that got killed by the the guy, the uh, neighborhood guy. It's very uh, similar. Zimmerman. To, yeah. yeah, Zimmerman in, in Florida. It's there. There's some similarities here. There, there's. They were doing wrong. The kid wasn't. But the thing, the whole struggle and the gun being used is a, very similar. Has anyone t brought that up in the media yet? Has no. Anyone talked about? I actually I, haven't. I haven't, heard, uh, yeah, really haven't, haven't heard the, the comparison. Time. We're doing it first right here on the bar live on the Big Dave Show. <laughs> Why the hell not? It is true. The thing about yeah, me, was it, yeah, just the he was a he was a kind of a neighborhood security, I'm just security guard kind of person. Struggle part where he here's the deal: the officer was getting the better of him supposedly. So he used yeah, the gun. Yeah, but this guy was a security and guy. Zimmer, that, Zimmerman Zimmerman was getting beat up supposedly. He used his gun. So I'm saying that it's very similar as to what happened. The action, the struggle, yeah. the struggle. They were both getting beat up supposedly, getting the uh, the the perp uh, and accused us. The kid wasn't a perp, but I guess accused perp uh, had the upper hand, mm -hmm. and the other person had a gun, used the gun. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with the situation. Please do. The police officer is going to get charged. He's going to get charged. It may be a lesser charge. It may be manslaughter. Um, he, he's going to spend some time. He's going to get taken off the force. It's going to happen. And the reason why is, number one, because of all the media situation. But number two, the bottom line is it, it, was, it was a crime of passion. 
in a sense. Meaning that meaning, <laughs> meaning that meaning that he was passionately pissed. Let and me tell you why and I'm being passionately here. pissed, he decided, all right, motherfucker, I'll pop. And that's how it happened. See, now don't get me wrong. I think that I, I feel for the police officer. I want this. I want this to be clear. I feel for that police officer because I've been in situations where I've had the opportunity to pull my gun. I literally have come up on a situation where somebody was breaking in. I didn't know it at the time. I, there was an old piece of junk Camaro out in the parking lot that I was watching. Piece of junk. This piece of shit. So why, why, why were you watching this Camaro? It was in a parking lot that I was watching. I was watching the parking lot. Not oh, the so you were kind of uh, uh, right. scoping it out. Okay. So I'm like doing my rounds, and I see it looks like somebody had locked their keys in this piece of Camaro, right? Mm -hmm. So I... Being the courteous person that I was as a security officer, I decided to drive right up there in my car. It looked like a, it was an old Caprice with lights on top and everything. <laughs> I just drive right up to the car and hop out and go, hey, guys, can I help you? You know, what happened? You know, and they turn around and look at me, and you could tell right off the bat, something was wrong. Yes, indeed. You could feel it. You could feel it. Next thing I know, I see a gun. I say to myself, and this all happened in a matter of three seconds. That's got to be a cap gun. Second thing I did was hit the ground. Third thing I was is that's not an effing cap gun because I started hearing bullets hitting things all around me. And this is a true story. And uh, I had that opportunity to pull my gun at that moment. I could have pulled my gun and shot the, out of those guys and been totally, totally, uh, what's the word, justified if I killed every single one of them. I would have been justified. Never spent a day in jail for it. But I didn't pull my weapon. I stayed low, and I didn't move. Had my hand on my gun, though, because if they are going to come any closer, I was going to pop somebody. They ended up running about, you know, 15 feet in front of that car. That must have been a bad shot, huh? I think they were just trying to scare me. Oh, okay. Honestly, I think that's what it was. They were just trying to scare me. Can, can I ask so I, so I got up from the car. There's a point to this. I, I got up from the car. As I got up from the car, I saw them getting into the car that they drove into the parking lot with, and they began to drive away. At that point, I went ahead and pulled my gun in hopes that I could stop them by simply pulling the gun and pointing it towards their car. And it was at that moment I noticed the car they were getting into in the back seat that I had my gun drawn and pointed at was a pregnant woman holding about a six-month-old child. Okay? Okay. If I wouldn't have had a cool head on my shoulders and just started letting it rip, popping off rounds, I could be dealing with, at this day in my, at this point in my life, the knowledge that I was responsible for the death of an innocent woman and her child and her unborn child. But at that time, if they're driving away, they're no longer a danger to you, though. No, but if I would have been popping off caps, there's a good chance one of my stray bullets could have hit them. That's my point. Here's the real question, though. Plum my to you because you're you're uh, in shape kind of guy. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so if if you and I are are fighting each other, okay, uh -huh. and you already know because before they went to this house, they knew these guys were bad guys. They had records. Yeah, they knew who they were going to bust the door down. Okay, and you knew that I had a criminal background, a pretty good one, for who knows what. I don't know what the guy was accused of or did, but you knew how to, you knew I was a bad guy. You know, well, it, was, it, was a, it was a it was a supposed I think a drug house. Yes. They already I think they had that knowledge ahead of time. Okay, so me and you're fighting. You've already got an opinion. I'm a bad guy, right? Mm -hmm. It's I've been convicted. You have a gun on you. I'm beating your ass, beating you senselessly. Would you not be tempted to pull that gun and shoot me? Of course, especially if you were putting your so would I. If you were putting your so hand and your hand down, yeah, I, my, your, Honestly, your hand down your pants. But I, I think Dave was talking from no, I, a, I don't know a, where about a, Dave's talking. Yeah, an officer's I, perspective. But answer your question, of course. There's so a, there's a, there's a, there's a level of maturity and authority and responsibility that the police officers have that we do not have as citizens. We are allowed to be sitting there thinking to myself, "I'm going to bust a cap in this mother." You know what I'm saying? But my question is, is but for the a cop act to do that's unprofessional and, and it's wrong and it can cause time in jail and it also taints the entire reputation of the police department. I get all that, but my point is, is like it's something like if you're getting your ass beat, at some point you're hurting, you do something to prevent it. If you have a gun right there, you're probably going to pull out and use it. Yeah, I mean, anybody if, would. Well, I mean, why would you not? And it, no, and, well, you would. I would. Well, also, too, it's not only somebody could die. And it's besides the getting your ass kicked. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what? I I don't think that the uh, well, I said I don't think th that the officer, even though he's getting his ass kicked, 
if he didn't feel that he might have had a weapon reaching his hand down, down, it, down into his pants, then he probably wouldn't have, you know, uh, pulled, it, pulled his gun out. I think that's the main thing well, is he thought that he could have had a weapon. I think also the, the thought process, you're, I mean, let's be real. When you see someone that's a, a jerk that we all know and your thoughts are more lessened. You don't look at I'm, them as the same person as you're like a, a good gun. guy. Like young I'm Jeff surprised. over here. Look at this guy. looks innocent. Obviously. But if I take some badass that's a known dickhead that's going to cause trouble. Okay, so bottom line, what is your point? What is your I point? You support, the poli- you support the police officers' actions no matter what they are. No, I'm not at all. I'm just saying if we're in that situation, I try to put myself These in a person's In general, situation. it doesn't matter who it is. Well, I'm, we trying are, to put, we I'm trying to put myself in that situation. What would go through my mind if I don't have a dis regard or dislike for someone already i'm more inclined to pull my trigger all right so we are we are talking about some serious subjects on the show today very serious uh, that's why we had to do the whole unity thing that's i'm not afraid it. to do it i'm not afraid to do it you know because i believe our opinion is just as good as your opinion and everybody else's opinion out there and feel free to call in at 214-736-3569 our show as always is uh sponsored by adamandeve.com where you can get your favorite sex toys for your glory hole all right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Big Dave and Chloe Show. have trouble getting a good night's sleep? Are you constantly tossing and turning, trying to find the perfect position of comfort? If your current pillow makes it difficult for you to relax and sleep easily, you can now rest assured. The Booty Pillow is the product you've been waiting for. It's the perfect asset to a good night's sleep. It's nature's perfect pillow, modeled after nature's perfect shape. My girl is always on the road for business, so I don't get to cuddle with her the way I like to. Thanks to Booty Pillow, I feel like she's still here. My back was always hurting me, and I couldn't do anything because my boyfriend would want to lay on me. Thanks to the Booty Pillow, my back doesn't hurt anymore, and I can go as I please. The Booty Pillow is made to provide maximum comfort wherever you use it. Use it at the office to ease back pain. Use it in your bed to sleep. Use it on the couch while watching a movie. You can use it anywhere. Normal pillows of this size and quality can go for $90, $100, or even higher. Order now and get the booty pillow for the low price of just $29.99. Booty pillows, putting a smile on your cheeks. Do you have trouble getting for a good night's sleep? Years, we've been Are you constantly and tossing and turning toilet paper? Finally, there's a better way. Comfort wipe. The sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. It's as easy to use as a shower brush. Just pop on the toilet tissue and when through, just press the release button and the tissue drops right into the toilet. Think about it. Toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting. The Comfort Wipe is the modern solution. That's right. Never touch another dirty toilet tissue. Being a big guy certainly has its advantages and its disadvantages. This is a great product. It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. The Comfort Wipe allows you to maintain your dignity while you maintain your personal hygiene. Comfort Wipe, the sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. So if you or someone you love suffers from the loss of range of motion or 
if you're someone who just doesn't want to touch dirty toilet paper, don't be embarrassed. Just get a comfort wipe. Order now and we'll send you the comfort wipe for just $19.99. Plus, we'll send you the Get a Grip. Just pay separate shipping and handling. It's the assist handle that installs in seconds. Getting in and out of the tub has never been more comfortable. You get it all the comfort wipe and the Get a Grip. The entire $50 value for just $19.99. But you have to call now. Are you tired of taking your dog for a walk and picking up after their mess? Are you tired of using grocery bags or products that are heavy and not useful? It can get very messy when your pet goes in the house or on the sidewalk or even your neighbor's lawn. We have the answer for you. Introducing Poo Trap, an amazing new innovation that eliminates the need of picking up after your dog. Poo Trap is a unique new product that fits any size dog without any hassles and your pets will love it too. It's easy to install on your dog and makes your walking experience fun. Walking your dog just got easier with a poo trap. No poops, no whoops. Poo trap is available in eight sizes and three colors. There are no substitutes. Poo trap, the magic poop collector. Order yours today. Call 888-POO trap. That's 888-766-8727. Call now or visit our website at www.pootrapusa.com. Order yours today. I've got to figure it out. Put my theory to the test. All the answers I'm looking to. Welcome back to the Big David Chloe Show. It is uh, Thursday. What's up, Chloe? You know, you know the thing is, we're we got uh, sitting in for Mel just for a little while. The, uh, the 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 awesome Brandon. Do you go by your last name too, or just your first name? I go by Sunbury Brandon, and the guys at YNR give me a really cool nickname, Super Shaw. Super Shaw. <laughs> uh, that's kind I got of, a bunch of nicknames though. I used to be called Shaw Dog and B Shaw. And all kinds of great <laughs> shows right nicknames. here on the lineup of the We got the YNR show, which is uh, on. Um, it's on Wednesdays. Uh, it kind of varies, but 4 to 6 p.m. roughly. And a new show, Model Citizens. Have you heard about this one yet? No. No. What's up with that? You guys are really up to date on what's going on the bar uh, Model Citizens, a bunch of females talking about modeling. Their, days, their daily grind of being hot chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta see that. One. It's pretty. And, and it's, having it's, ha- having everything bought for him and things of that nature. Right. It's actually a pretty good show. I actually, surprisingly, Jimmy, are you got a mic over there? Were you somewhat in, uh, for a show put together at the last thirty seconds with no thought? You know, <laughs> I, I had no idea the struggles of people that don't have to pay Look, for anything. <laughs> everybody just wants to do. They take their clothes off. Yeah, they did. They took their clothes off for the show, and and nah, young Marissa was struggling with a tattoo problem, so we're trying to get her some money. To just all, a dollar a day. To all of our listeners out there, that's all you need to know. They're called uh, Model Citizens. What time are they on? They are going to be Wednesdays. They're live at Pokes over off of uh, Midway Pokes. Road. <laughs> Pokes Bar and Grill, 14831 Midway Road, uh, 5 to 7 p.m. They're 5 there. to 7 p.m. And uh, you can check them out. Maybe they'll take the clothes off. Yeah, they do take the clothes Yeah, you off. definitely got to watch at, that at one. At Pokes. At Pokes. Isn't that Action great? Living's coming back to life also. Action Living, too? You what, you got a time? You're going to do that? Is that going to be a daily thing? Or Laundry or? lunch on Tuesday from, uh, I think it'll be a one-hour show. Probably won't be live. You can come meet me live and hang out with us, but we'll probably rebroadcast it later. But at And, of course, PMS on daily. Yes, noon to two, Tuesday through Friday. And we're, we're supposedly also, for anybody who gives a shit, we're also going to be having our own studio, a new studio that we're moving to coming up. In yeah, gonna be, not that anyone cares where it's going to be at, but we're going to have <laughs> a new studio in North Dallas in about two weeks. Is there is there an audience uh, listening area like we have here? Because we've got about 15 people in the audience today. Y'all make some noise out there. All of our listeners over there, yeah. They're making Jesus. a lot of noise. They're not even, yeah, 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 not even the three of them are saying anything. <laughs> even our listeners are morons. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, we have a new studio coming, but we'll talk about that later. The studio will have a sp- – it's going to be named. Kind of like the Verizon Center oh, and all that stuff. Yeah. Could be called the Big Dave Center? It could be. Do you have the money? No. Okay, probably not. Okay. Well, you know, it's worth it. You want to plug your sponsor? Apparently, Gala, Gallo Family. I said Gallo because it is a pink wine. Gallo. Hey, don't make fun of my Gallo. wine, bitch. <laughs> no, it's, it's cool, man. It's, uh, it's not really a sponsor. I just uh, prefer to drink it. It looks like it's very our, light. Our sponsor is AdamandEve.com, which uh, I heard that you bought uh, uh, something from AdamandEve.com. Got it, you know. Uh, I got the big day butt plug. It was on sale, half off. <laughs> it's because it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try it. I bought it as souvenirs and gifts. But uh, yeah, no, I haven't bought nothing from AdamandEve, actually. 
Anyway, welcome to our show. Today we're kind of talking about the, you know, usually we're talking about sex, alcohol, rock and roll, uh, penises and vaginas and asses and anal sex and how your relationships can be better. But today, you know, we're, we're kind of doing something we're different. We're, we're talking about the big events that are going on because there's a lot. I mean, you got you got these little little guys running around blowing shit up and... Uh, oh. The, uh, have, they, have they blown anything up yet? Could you be more offensive to our viewers out there? We do have Koreans that listen to our show. Do they understand it? Oh, or is that who you met? Do they speak in English? Brought to you by Big Dave. Or is that who you met? Or do you're saying little people. You're saying like like midget people? Yes. There's a little person. No, I, look, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being offensive. I'm saying uh, that uh, they're, they're little people. There's just they, a time and a place to say jokes like that, and probably right now after what's going on, maybe not the best time. As uh, they're about to start an uprising. Yeah, locally. there's an uprising about to happen over here in yeah. uh, Dallas. In Richardson, they have an area for the Koreans, and also there's Korean shops right up the street at like Royal and 35. And way to go, Dave. Because any second now, they just swoop in. Okay. Uh, Why are they fat guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like you, big day. They'll start, they'll start changing that. We're going to give you the fun guy. <laughs> It's fun. it's kind of funny. If I get killed by a little person, I'm going to be pretty amused by that. Actually, I mean, when it's all if there's life after death, that is, I'll be somewhat amused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Alrighty then. Wow. Dude. How did you die? Well, the I, last thing I heard was you'll die, fat man. Oh wow, man. All right, so close. Yeah, I pulling up, pulling <laughs> on all the movie characters today. See that? It's nice. Wow, let's just defend nice. everybody. I mean, they are attacking people, Dave. What? Any, any more about the South Dallas uprising over there? Anything you want to no, say to the people look, of South Dallas? I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, you know, it's a sad thing about the the the, the north. What is it? South North 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 Korea. South Dallas. Oh, north, no, yeah, north, no, yeah, uh, North. It was, yeah, yeah, it was North Korea, right? Can't we just all get along? Damn it! I mean, really. What would you suggest us? What, 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 how could we do that? I mean, as far as like you know, some sort of sanction or something. Beer is good. Beer. Or liquor, or you know, if they're sex, but they're what a sex with American people? Yes, and I'm, you know, sex between you know North Korea and, and America. I think oh, there could be t- you're going to the Asian porn now. What the hell, bro? I don't See? know if, if that helps. If that makes us all smile, then I would say let's do it. You know, if if it gives us if it gives us all a big hug, uh, you know, if it takes sex, alcohol, or or maybe rock and roll, maybe Asian rock and roll, loudness. Maybe. Maybe we had a William smiles. Hung on American Idol for your call. Yeah, I love William Hung. He's my idol. Should. Support your yeah, support your local. Anything Robin that Tug. makes the uh, the foreigners look stupid, you're going to support. No, I. Whoa! <laughs> how in the world do you come up with that? Because William Hung was a joke. Dude, you who's trying? Who's trying to cause a riot here? Not me. Well, oh, I'm oh, a little offended for oh, the thing fat because the guys making fun of people that are from other. Yeah, no, I make fun of Mel because she's from another country. I don't make fun of everybody from another. We support the military, and we really our demographic is we're very broad. We like all of our listeners, no matter who they are. Look, where anybody from. who listens to the show knows that I'm inappropriate by nature. Look, if you're too stupid to know, not. But to if they just tuned in, though. Yeah, well, then just tuned in. If you're too stupid to not know to take me serious, you, you're not supposed to take me. If you're taking me serious out there, you're losing the battle already because uh, you're going to be totally offended. And you're going to you're going to hate me. You're going to hate me and want to kill me. Right, you know, I'll extend that just right quick and say, yeah, if you're watching, th- you know, via the webcam or anything, I I, I would think that they would think that. So you're, yeah, I think you're covered on that. Okay, good. How come I want to address something? Do you mind, Chloe? Oh no, no, go ahead. Seriously. I don't really no. want you to. No, go ahead. No, Chloe's not in charge. Well, I like him. Actually, we talk about you all the time, and you're not there to defend yourself, so now's your chance. Oh, so you're um, going to talk about me now? We talk about you regularly. This tell you wasn't that. part of my show. It wasn't part of my research that I did. I but don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. Hold on just a minute. Ca- Chloe, is it okay if he talks about us or not? Oh, sure. I'm, I'm, now I'm curious. Okay I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about you. Is it okay for Now I'm curious. I, I, aren't you curious now? Are you going to take up for me if he gets out of hand? Maybe. All right. Go ahead, asshole. Well, one. everyone was wondering. We had a big powwow, big meeting. And uh, you weren't there ag- again, and certain issues were addressed, and basically the whole votes. Came I out had priapism. Had what? I had priapism. Were you having a hard time getting into something? What's An erection that? lasting longer more than four hours. Oh, okay. Well, basically, <laughs> I just want to know why you don't participate in these these other functions. And Chloe has to go there and do all the legwork and all the stuff, and you're not ever present at those things. Okay. So and? basically, the whole thing is his opinion, and he tries to voice what he feels will benefit you. But I just, I'm just curious. Do you really? <laughs> no, I think true. I'm lost. That's <laughs> not true. At, I'm lost. At the meeting, he doesn't give a crap what I think. I just want to know why you come here to Wait, joke wh- around about all these politics and you don't take it seriously, nor do you take the whole thing seriously. Like you don't take politics seriously? 
Okay, now I remember. Have you seen the politicians okay, that, are in, that are in control right now? Who the hell would take them seriously in the first damn place? Or are you talking about the world politics? I'm talking about the bar live policies that we came up with on Sunday <laughs> at the meeting. Oh, that I totally missed? Are we supposed yeah. to be taking this shit seriously now? Yeah, we're, we're all... I can't, but, but, I can't joke about the fact that we have a bunch of morons running the country. I'm sorry. Maybe I, I can't have, have my own opinion now. Show. But I, I, just, I thought maybe Clo might Look, want to even rational thing, broadcasting, a political-oriented company, let me say whatever I wanted to say. Because they knew that our show was entertainment-based and not meant to be taken seriously. Because you know what? Our view on the Big Dave and Close show, and I'll stand behind this, is that the moment we keep taking ourselves seriously is the moment you got crazy crap like this going on over there in Korea. Okay? You, you, you got a bunch of people taking crap too seriously. Look, man, life isn't about war. It's about living. And if we ever find out that the aliens do exist, which they do because I've been molested by one, <laughs> we're going to find out. That we're not that important, okay, and that we need to maybe stick together, okay, as one whole human race instead of uh, just a bunch of people pissed off about stupid crap that politicians make up in the first place. I think, yeah, I saw David's bumper sticker. It says, don't take life too seriously. It's not permanent. And once again, you had to defend the entire Spanish race by saying an alien molested you or something. They, what was his name? Jesus? Spanish race? The Hispanics. The what are we Mexicans? talking about now? You just said that an alien molested you, so somebody touched no, you. No, I'm talking about an alien from outer space, Brandon. <laughs> I'm talking about I saw the thing coming at my face. I know what an alien dick looks like. Okay, it wasn't a pleasant experience. I don't like to talk about it. You wonder why I want to touch touch the junk of a of a transsexual hottie. I'm telling you right now, it's because I've seen one in real life, and it was an alien. So that's the reason why he wants the tranny now is because he's or he's had he's had alien he's had normal and he's had alien, the only thing he hasn't had is a tranny. Yeah, I want to do it, you know, on my own. I, I want I want to be able to. I don't want it to be forced upon me. I want. So we just set it up and you, and we just disappeared and you let it happen. I was thinking they were going to come back for me again one day. What, is, what, like a follow up? Yeah, but it never happens. Like the movie E.T., it never happened. <laughs> you seem saddened by that. Like, she yeah, didn't, yeah, you didn't, she didn't call me. She didn't write. She didn't call. <laughs> and and I, I put out. I'm telling you. I gave it good. Never called again. So anyway, if you're, if you're tuning in and you're expecting us to talk about what we normally talk about, today we're just kind of talking about some of the current events. And uh, got another one right here I kind of want to <laughs> click on. Do, do, we, do we need to, to worry about, uh, do we need to talk any more about the, not worry, but do we need to talk any more about the whole uh, Korean thing until we find out more information? I don't think I so. I wouldn't think so. I mean, I'm, I mean we, we don't know. Do we know show, for sure, I'm just sitting there looking at me. Do we know for sure they bombed something for sure? I don't know exactly what's going on. I, I'm more worried about local news because the Koreans are pissed off here now. Now that does affect us directly. Okay, well, they're not pissed at us, right? Well, we just tell everybody. To we didn't do anything. Well, well also, too, like, we just tell everyone to be on call. On guard? Yeah, on guard. There do you the go. community thing one more time, please. Be, be unity. We need to be together. We need to love one another. We need to hold each other in ways that are romantic. Now, put that into to Google Translate and, and, and see what it says and see if it does it in Korean. Go to Google Translate. Are you going to try to make me read that? Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not, it's I'm not it, gonna, it, it, it doesn't going to have the symbols. I can't even know what it, the symbols no, no, mean. No, no, it does it, it does it phonetically. It's fine. F what? <laughs> F and what? We'll, we'll do it during a break. We'll find out what the uh, yeah okay the same thing is. Yeah, right. Okay. So you well, heard say, about say, say we're just concerned about the community. That's all. So I, I got another I got another hard hitting thing, and then and then we got a few things that we're going to go back to about uh, that's kind of normal for our show uh, towards the end of the hour. You guys heard about Chick-fil-A, right? Obviously, they're making all kinds of news because uh, they've openly come out. Chick-fil-A fans have uh, been tearfully vowing to stop eating at the fast food chain since the privately owned company's president, Dan Cathy, told Religious Newspaper that uh, he and his company are against gay marriage. So really, he didn't come out. It's actually the opposite. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Guilty as charged, Kathy said, we are very much a supportive of the family, the biblical definition of the family unit. We are a family-owned business and a family-led business, and we are married to our first wives. We give God thanks for that. Now, okay, here we go. <laughs> Too bad Mel's not here because I'm sure. She's uh, on her way. Okay, yeah, she's on her way. That, that's cool. All right, uh, but we're going to go ahead and talk about that for a moment. First of all, Taryn, uh, guess what? She got a job working for these people. What, for Chick-fil-A? Yeah, she got a job he working for him. So we're, we're going to find out what that's really like. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm curious because I told her, I said, I really want to find out. Because have you ever been to one of these places? 
Well, you, you, well, you you know, like one of these places, like they're like like some kind of rare thing. It yeah, is. It's like really, been to one of these places. Is. Oh my gosh! It is. It's and they're closed on Sunday. It's weird, dude. Oh, it's God. like now they're serious, man. It's like a cult. It's, I'm curious I, to I've find been, out the inner workings of Chick Fil A. Okay, what, what do you find? What, what do you find weird about going to a Chick Fil A? Because I haven't had one of these episodes. You and all the other people that have been listening to the show for years know that I'm huge on service, and I'm very sor- service oriented. When it comes to going to fast food, now fast food restaurants are just a pain in the ass. The majority of them, you walk in, there's some pimple-faced little 15-year-old going, yeah, what do you want? You know, you tell them what you want, and, and, and you're the one who ends up saying thank you at the end of it, and you're wondering why. Why did I just say thank you? Isn't he the asshole supposed to say thank you, you little bitch? That's what I'm thinking, you know, but they don't do that anymore. So, why? So because the- you got a bunch of A's. Asses that are, that are they're training these guys, and they're, they're a bunch of morons, and they're hiring so morons. For it, some reason, when you go into Chick Fil A, not only is the service just impeccable at every one that I've been to, <laughs> impeccable. I mean, it's not natural, Chloe. It's, it's not. It's almost normal. almost like it doesn't give you something to bitch about. Is that what it is? Yes. And on top of that, <laughs> the food is always so fresh and tasty, and it just you melts know, in you my mouth. You know why? You know why it's so I good? Just love it, and the waffle fries just make me want to. Look at the smile on his face. That's like food, man. He is grinning ear to ear. He's got a glow about him when he talks about food. I, I know. Did you this. force Taryn to go get a job there? Is that what it is? Well, I the kind discount. of. <laughs> I, I, we get a 50% discount, baby. Free Polynesian sauce. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can't blame a man for that. A man in his Chick-fil-A is important. Yeah. Okay, so she so she's getting a job there. I want to find out why they... T- First of all, she had four interviews to get hired on at this place. And what did they ask her? This is this is what I really would like to know. Did she, she, she talk, talk actually, about the inter- interview questions and they, stuff? You know, she, she goes to church regularly, okay? And they were asking a lot of questions about what she does in her spare time for the community and church. Oh, jeez. I hope she didn't mention you or the show. They literally go there in the yeah. interviews, Okay. Yeah, no, she didn't. Oh, they I was gonna, that, though? They were like, do you have a husband? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, you know. He's, I'm not married. <laughs> I mean, I think they should be able to do what they want to. It's their place of employment. But isn't there laws about hiring practices? Like, you can't do certain things like ask Yeah, there's religion. no yeah discrimination in, in, in that sort. And they, they probably, you know, just tap dance around Oh, it. yeah. I'm sure that the way they put it was, uh, so do you do anything uh, just in your spare time for community? Or do you go to church? Or, you know, what, what do you do in your spare she didn't time to have the bunny ranch? Oh, yeah. Boy, that probably would have been a not so uh, easy close there, would it? Is that is that um, stuff on her Facebook page? No. I'm gonna say if that stuff was, that's what a lot of employers look at now. Okay, well let's let let's like shh. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just, so anyway, <laughs> no, it's not on her Facebook. Okay, page. cool. And are you uh, on her Facebook it, page? It wouldn't be anyway. So uh, <laughs> the, the, what? I said, are you on her Facebook page? Oh, that could be a problem. Yeah, you may you may want to do some editing later on. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. They're not going to bite you the whole Chick Fil A free buffets and they have for the employees and stuff. They're gonna <laughs> <laughs> don't bite your husband. Okay, so I'm really curious to find out what the training process is, and I'm going to have her telling me all about it this week when she starts because I want to find out how they they make these like like Stepford employees. Maybe like what? What do you mean? That are that are so okay. I know your mouth's watering and all, but that yeah. are so that are so perfectly sound when it comes to customer service. That's what I want to find out how they do this, because we're talking about kids that are 15, 16 years old that are that are given incredible customer service. Yeah, they're always, they're the cheerful. Yeah, the one next to my house. Every time I go go through there, it's like they're always pleasant and nice. Exactly. You know what is it that they say when you first? How may I make your how may how may I make your order fresh today? You know, you I have sure? not I've not instead heard that of, one. Instead of what can I get you to you know what do you want. You know, how can I help you? You know, welcome. Or there's always some kind of little quirk. I think maybe they have them all come up with their own little thing <laughs> to uh, to sound more pleasant than, than each other. So. I feel like he's doing something here. I feel like he's trying to kind of bash them, but the whole time he's promoting them, they have the best customer service. They, it's like I'm trying no, to dog them no, out, but no, secretly no, no, I think they're no. trying to sell us on how great they are. I thought it's it was going to bash on, bash on the Christianity thing. It's just the opposite, actually. I uh, I want to continue this. But the, the whole point in this bringing up the story and telling you what I told you is because how great they are. I am I am exactly I am totally for their own belief systems. I am I am actually offended that uh, we as citizens of this great free country. This democratic nation of free speech and thought, 
are willing to go to this extent to uh, to stop eating at a fast food chain because their owner's stance is he's against gay marriage. Now, is gay marriage right? Is gay marriage wrong? Does it really determine whether you're going to eat at a restaurant that gives great service and quality food? Should it be that we're that tight-assed? That we're that opinionated? That Do we have nothing better to do in this world besides get pissed because some guy who owns his own company has an opinion that you don't effing agree with? Once again, back to, back to what I always say. Common sense, people. Common damn sense. There's not enough of it in this world. Right, Clo? No, I absolutely agree. Well, you know what it is? It's like, you know, if they don't want to go, they don't have to go. It's a shorter line for me. You know what I mean? So, you know what? If, if they're going to miss out on some badass Chick-fil-A food, then yeah, they, right. they're just going to miss out. Hey, bitches, that's more Cl- for me. Clo, I hope he's splitting the gift cards with you that he's getting for this plug. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, because I know what he's going to do. He's going to I'm not kidding. He's like, hey, Jimmy, take this part, edit all this stuff out, <laughs> add out the ass, F, and everything else, and send this to Chick-fil-A. And get this, too. This is another thing. You heard about the, uh, the Sesame Street pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. That's funny. You heard about the Sesame Street uh, thing. They they pulled them from their sponsorship, uh, the KERA, right? Oh, well, the public broadcasting, whatever, PBS. Right, PBS. Now, now, my question is, I, I didn't, haven't really answered it. Is Sesame Street uh, funded by KERA? I mean, I, I mean, not necessarily by by, by KERA uh, in you know, specifically, but it's by by the the public broadcasting system. Okay, so. Then that's okay because if, if KERA was was part of this, then I would I would question KERA as well. Okay, because KERA is a publicly funded broadcasting company, so therefore, you know, they're they're I've always respected their news because their news is always unbiased and straightforward, and they give the facts and just the facts, and they don't give their own opinions about it, and they they do what's right when it comes to. Um, you yeah, know. but also Sesame Street could be all could also be be uh, you know independent. I'm uh, not independently funded, but it could be funded from various different stuff. Okay, I, because I would I. Well, obviously Chick Fil A was one of their sponsors, so there you go. But they they got rid of them, right? Now now here's my thing. You've got a children's show. That's uh, sponsored by, uh, partly sponsored by Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. Who is against gay marriage? Now, there was a time years ago where, morally speaking. That would be completely appropriate, right? For, I'm for for a company to be against gay marriage, there was a time where where that was where that was where, where it was at. Uh, you know, morally speaking. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I don't mean, get me wrong. There was also a time years and years and years ago where slavery was also a morally acceptable and it was okay. Not not saying that uh, you know we we don't need a change, but uh, the very fact that a children's show would drop a sponsor for something like this, you know. I see stories like this, and it makes me wonder. There's probably no way whatsoever we could get a major sponsor with our show, unless they were like a liquor store or, you know, AdamandEve.com. You're just not or, figuring that out. Or yeah, yeah. And <laughs> but but the problem the, here's here's what makes me mad about it though, Brandon, is that we live in the, we live in a free country. If we start getting to the point where where we're sitting on these microphones and, and we're, we're voicing our opinion or we're, 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 we're throwing out our own entertainment values in the way we want to do it, and people are pushing us away from having those opinions and those ways of being but able to be what? different in the entertainment business, then you just nailed it. we're losing it. They have their opinion of you, and they don't want to support what you do because they're against it for the things you say. That's their right to spend their advertised money how they like and who they want to associate with. So they're exercising their right okay. to give you cash. Well, that's so, not so, so we just need, to, st- we just need to, to stay away from those people. We, yeah, we need to stay away from people who are tight asses. Or not tight asses, the people that have most of the money and are spending most of the money on advertising. No, <laughs> tight asses. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, asses. I, I people, think, people who are interested in being politically correct all the time. Yeah, yeah not, okay? not necessarily monetarily. Can we, can we just say speaking. it? Let's not bullshit around it. People who are interested in being politically correct all the time because mom soccer mom over here or, 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 or Mr. Daddy Warbucks over here has to keep a reputation up. 
uh, says, oh, this is so bad. People who don't do anything in their lives interesting whatsoever but sit around and bitch about shit because they don't have anything else to do. Yeah. And when you start listening to a bunch of people, man, I'll tell you what, I can get into this right now. And I'm telling you right now, we're the, one of the reasons why we are, we are in the situation we are politically in this country is because we don't have enough people with balls to step forward and say, this is stupid. This is flat out stupid. This is dumb shit. This is stupid. I think, we, I think we have we, we have people doing it. We, we just may not have the right people doing it. Step Obviously, up, step we don't. Up. I feel what you're saying, Brian. I respect what you're saying. Unfortunately for me, I got a lot of bills to pay, so I kind of had to conform a little bit. No. I, I cr- listen. Mm. I go right up to the line, and I would get my point across, and I, I have certain things that push the limits. But at the same token, like I said, I just got bills to pay, dude. That's well, let this be it. of encouragement to you. The Russ Martin Show. Thank God for the Russ Martin Show, Chloe. By the way, thank God for the yes. Russ Martin Show in this in this uh, fifth largest market in the United States. Dallas Fort Worth, Russ Martin show is is flourishing. Here's the, no, and these can, guys say their way. opinion. They give their opinion and they do it. They do it without fear. And I just I'll say, give I another just one. Say, thank God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go. just saying. Thank God for the people that 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 do that. You know what I mean? That can be on. It doesn't matter who that, what city it is, where it is, or who it is. That can still get advertising dollars and still say the things that they do. The exactly. so, though. Let, let me let's be. Also, real here. thank God for South Park, Trey Parker, and you know, yeah, thank. But let's be real here, guys, You know, Russ Martin, and I and I respect what he does as far as it goes, and I have no problem with the Russ Martin show whatsoever. Okay, but luckily for him, he built up an audience and he had the support, so he can keep doing what he wants to do, and advertisers are. Gonna, they kind of go along with it for that reason because he does have it comes down to dollars and cents man at the end of the day you know look what happened to tiger woods he didn't lose all of his sponsors what are you saying he he was a different person no he he was already he already had his thing going he was russ martin has done this for so long okay he got he he, hasn't changed but i'm saying things were a little less pc back in the day and he just maintained who he is and people know he works they, they support him and he's got a little bit of power some new kid on the block though that's the new kid on the block trying to you know, fight the power is going to have to a lot. Has to conform? No, that's where you're It doesn't have to conform, but has to deal with the fact that he might have a tougher time getting a sponsorship because they're new and they're they're edgy. It's if you're a badass in sports, you know, and people love you and adore you and want you real bad, you can have the tattoos and have the whole I don't care attitude. I'm I'm a rock star like the kind of guys that wear those logos. You know, when they're out there in that drink, for instance, because and they can be edgy and they, they can play off of that. But if you're so so, you can't be edgy. If you're so so, you got to kind of kiss up a little bit to the man a little bit. I disagree. I totally. Oh my God, I so disagree. Look, here's the thing. If I have to kiss up some asshole doesn't like my show in the first damn place, F you, all right? Get the fuck off my show. Go where? Go away. Go somewhere else. I don't need you, okay? If all I have is my voice right here and to be able to speak as an American, I'm proud to have that opportunity, okay? There's people who listen to the show and like the show because we have the balls to go against the grain, all right? And there's sponsors out there who love that as well and stand behind it. I do think, I have I, to, do, I, I, I think, do we I think have we'll to conform? Ch- I think, well, I'm just saying, like, if, um, if someone comes up, if, for instance, you know what I mean, um, Alco comes up and says, hey, we'll give you, you know, $30,000, you know what I mean, uh, monthly, I think we'd perform a little bad. I'm just saying. How much? <laughs> like I said, thirty thousand dollars a month. How much do I got to conform? Yeah, Chuck, I'm, just, I'm, just, about $4, I'm just saying. It's like. <laughs> you, I mean, tell every, me, every, tell every, me what I can't say anymore. Everyone's got a price. You know what I mean? So, I but I do it. understand what you're saying. But um, but Brandon's got a point to where like, uh, you know what? It just kind of you work your way up to be able to be cocky. I think is is what the deal I'll is. tell you where uh, per, my personal experiences are. Five or six years ago. My, some of my ideas have been shot down. I said, no way, no how. Now there's people that just give me free reign to go. Just go for it. We'll deal with the problems later. Just go for it. I'm just, because I've proved myself and I, and I have a certain, I've been around doing this for a while. And they just, they're going to accept it. They're going to let me do certain things that I couldn't have got away with five or six years ago when I was less known. That's just the facts. I dealt with it before. I've been there. I mean, I'm, I'm cons- even though I'm very conservative in what I'm telling you guys and I act like I'm against what you are saying, I'm really kind of for it. I'm an, I'm considered in the business world pretty edgy. I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm I run a bikini team. You know, it's not exactly what opens up doors for people that are worried about their brand. Sometimes if they're like a big corporation. So, you know, I, I'm with you, bro. But I'm also smart enough to know that, you know, I will change things a little bit to get a dollar, man. A little bit, but not. But not I think you know, like, I think Dave would do that, just just not dramatically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna change True. dramatically either. I'm gonna have to agree with that. I would. I would I would conform if it was in the if it was in the guidelines of of uh, the idea of, of the show. You follow me? 
Yeah, I got you. If it keeps true to somewhat true to your character. Yeah, right. but I'm not gonna. Yeah, but I'm not gonna sit there and you know become like Mr. Rogers for some company. I'm not gonna sell out. I I hear you. I wasn't. I was gonna turn down the MC job. I just talked about this to my buddy Nile Pruitt earlier that I wasn't gonna take an MC job because I thought I had to wear like a suit and tie, and I was doing something for gym class. Turns out it was a gym class heroes. So, uh, but I was willing to turn down the the gig, the MC gig, for that reason. So I'm out with you, but luckily I can afford to because, you know, I already had my rent covered that month. Who are you dating this month? Who am I dating right now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> uh, you mean I was fine. all strong what I was talking about. Also, now because I because it. it's not really good to put certain people out there on blasts. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? It's always good. I got a nice little selection to choose from. You got a little, hmm? Yeah. Got a lot of oh. Yeah. Yeah. Six strategies for successfully arguing with someone you're dating. Thought you might need this since you're on the show. Oh, okay. Number one, suggest a better place to time and to talk. You're tired. You're too emotional. I'm sure you've had this problem, right? Right on time. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mel. Welcome to the show. Here comes me. I've got to step off the show at this. No, point. I mean that right no, on time, for real, for real. No, I'm not. I'm not saying you're being late you or anything. Can we stay on talk about the subject? Absolutely. Because uh, this, no, is, this one's uh, this one's uh, directed towards you. Okay. You should suggest suggest a better time to talk. Uh, you know, you're tired. You're emotional. You've been there. You've had these issues with chicks before, right? Me personally. Yeah. That I was tired, emotional, and didn't want to talk yeah. to him. Find a better place. Find a better time to talk. Yeah, I'm sure you, you just go, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So these are things that's really important. Now, also, you can uh, get in the ring. Of course, sometimes taking the high road isn't just an option. So, uh, quietly sulking, however, is never productive. It's usually better if you can't let it go to commit fully to the argument. Um, let your partner know that you are in for duration, however long it takes. The two of you are going to do whatever in your power to sort out the issue. So uh, th- these are things. I mean, do you do you, are you do you feel like you're pretty good with uh, the women? Very. Good. We mean like getting them or dealing with them. Not. I, I think this them. is the, de- the yes, dealing with uh, them, and I have to be because of what I do for a living. I'm with probably the most severe extremes of dealing with women you could ever deal with. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what was it funny? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just agreeing because I I cannot imagine. I yeah. I didn't you're just a step down from a, str- of a from working being a manager at a strip bar. I'm telling you, it's a lot of vagina to control. I'm with a lot of attractive girls that are used to getting their way, and and I have to like buck up to them. And these are girls that used to, and and I take a risk; they might just bail on me and be gone. Well, here's a good one then that you're obviously already doing. Then too, uh, you're taking one for the team. Then right? Uh, sometimes they're just way more upset than you are about something. So what you do is just sit back and allow them to be upset, and uh, you know. So yeah, I, yeah how much listening in, do you have to do? In your words, conform. Sometimes I'm pretty outspoken when it comes to my thoughts. I try to educate them like why life is not as bad as they think it is and why you could be worse. You could be the fat chick working at Blockbuster making seven or eight bucks an hour and you're bitching. You got a great life. Yeah. I usually try to show them the sunny so side of things. They, so far, he's he's right on he's right on cue, Because the what? next one is uh, let them know they're being heard. Let yeah, them you should let, always repeat people. Right. Let, let them know that you're understanding what they're saying. You get where they're going and so on and so forth. Okay. That, that's true. That's the number one rule of thumb is that there's there's two things you should use. The word I feel, whenever you're talking about them, I feel this way, because that way you can never be wrong about your own feelings. And the second thing is when people are sitting there, they want to know that you're really hearing them, and they start thinking you're dozing off, repeat what they just said and let them know that, yeah, you took that in. You Have you ever it. dozed off while you're listening to one of your bikini models talk? I don't think so. Hmm. Probably not. But also really? tell you, whenever you're repeating it, Probably you just got to make sure that you do not say it in any kind of sarcastic or condescending manner Absolutely. because they will take it and twist it. Yes, to say focus it. on your <laughs> feelings rather than your opinions is uh, the next one. It's, it's very, very it rare. Focus, focus on your feelings rather than your opinions. That's what I just, that's what I was talking about, the word exactly. feeling. So, you, so you were, you, you're done on here. And then here's the last thing is let them vent. Let them get it out of their system. Oftentimes an angry person doesn't know, you know what it is they're so angry about until you let them talk it out. But that that but also goes with sales, by the way. They will tell you how to sell them or what the problem is. You just sit back and listen to what they're saying. But it's so hard, though, because sometimes you can't help but speak up. Because I couldn't imagine Mel, uh, uh, you know what I mean, listening to someone for very long without having to, to step in. Oh, hell Am no. Am I right? Hell <laughs> See? No. Can, can, I get, say it. can I say something that's going to put you guys no. on the spot, Mel and Dave, here for a minute? If you recall, last week we had a little heart-to-heart after the show. 
and you had some concerns. Uh-huh. And I was saying, listen, what he's saying. He's telling you he cannot sell. He's not a salesman. You need to hear that and adjust to what you're saying according to that. Do you remember the, the conversation we had? Yeah, but he didn't give me any solutions to that. I, I did. I said you should get a commission. You did, not him. But I, but I told th- you to listen to what he's saying, uh, take it in. Damn, bitch, you've been here for Gordon. five minutes. You're already on my ass. Well, you that was your fault, Brandon. Shut, you, shut, the fel- shut, shut up. I no. hear what you're saying. I feel. I'm feel trying to be do nice. Do your bullshit on us, okay? You, he did not give me any solutions. He you, however, did, and then my other co-host gave me actual solutions on how we are going to work as a team. But the to key thing is for you that. to listen to him, which makes you the girl, by the way. Listen to him and how he feels. Take it in, and, and well, it, then it'll eat come me. back. All right. <laughs> Why don't you hop in between these legs and take a good lick, brother? Oh my See, God. you're not listening. Slurp it up. Let you're him talk. Let him listen to him. Okay, you, go ahead. So you want us to slurp it up? Keep talking. Just let him <laughs> let him talk, guys. I'm done. I just wanted you to know I was ready for you to slurp it up. Oh, so you're just exactly like a bitch. You just go, I'm done, and just leave it at that. Just spread my legs and go. Hold on, Mel. Say, I feel like you're being like a bitch right now, Dave. Don't say you're just like what a bitch. What the hell I feel like is this? Like psychology with Brandon? Brandon no likes one? to do this shit. I don't know what it is. No, you just re- everything I'm saying is what you just read, so you I'm think, on point. Do you think anything you could say could heal the relationship that me and Mel have? I don't want to heal no. it as much as try to repair it. It can't be healed. Look, you ever have done since, too much damage. Ever since Mel gave me the bad blow job, everything's gone downhill. All right? So things have changed. It'll never be the same again. Well, I shouldn't have told her what I told her afterwards. That was the problem. Well, I just said earlier, you know, I, I said that Mel wouldn't be one of those people that would sit back and just listen. She would have to interject. No, right? because Dave's full of shit 99% of the time. So why the hell would I sit there and listen to him when everything is crap? There's still that 1%. Yeah, but you, I don't listen to that 1%. <laughs> That's the reason why you get bad blowjobs. You don't listen when I tell you to shut the fuck up when it comes to saying that. Oh, okay. She really gets upset when it comes to the sexual tension. There is no sexual tension, asshole. <laughs> listen to that. She's shut up for a minute sh- and sh- listen to what I'm saying. She really wants me. It's bad. All right, say it, say it, say it now. She really, really there does. is no sexual tension, Dave. Mm. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, I know. So, it's, so you're saying it's only one way, Mel? It definitely only one way, but he won't shut up long enough to listen to it. He just wants to talk. Mm. Jimmy, I know you don't have a microphone, but isn't it funny how she shows up and suddenly we go back to what it's always about, sexual and her and his lust for her and no, stuff? No, it's him like with the sex. Not, not my lust. No, She's I, not my type. You, you are so far from... You've got bigger tits than I do. So, you know, my I've rule is bigger boobs than me, I'm not in. I've had better. No, I never said it was you. It's just when you show up is what happens. You never had me, dumbass. Okay. That's the way you want to play it. It's all right. I understand. I've been there. Yeah, I like playing with girls. I just want to say that no one can see what's going on behind the scenes, but the girl sitting next to <laughs> Mel is grabbing her boobs right now and doing certain gestures. And she's blonde. She's so my type. So, you know. Apparently she's close type also. Yeah, well, that's okay. I can share. I'd hit it. I'll share. I'd hit it. Oh, who would you hit? <laughs> Once again, guys, you're uh, listening to the Big Baby Close show, the most unhealthiest show on radio. Kind of, kind of confused as to what I'd hit nowadays. I don't know. Yeah, when you listen, yeah, yeah, make sure that whatever we do, do the exact Are opposite. <laughs> What's that? Uh, we're <laughs> not. No. The, are y'all boyfriend girlfriend? Yes. Is that something the kids say? Is that adult like? Boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah. I can All share right. his toys. Well, you know, she shares mine. Oh, that's just really not right. I don't even want to hear that. Yeah, that's I think they're, right they're sharing right. some, Speaking some of sharing Adam's toys. Adam and Eve, Adam Wait, and Eve toys. Speaking of sharing toys, there will be a new package coming in the mail this week. Yeah, besides mine? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Delivered Express. I will deliver your package what in can, the mail. What can Brown like. do for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the blonde chick said she'd, she'd accept my package. Then hit on her. Leave me the hell alone. Well, I'll think about that. I'll let you know. You don't have so, your mic. <laughs> you know, we're, we're talking about the sexual attention that, uh, that, that Mel has for me. And Jesus it brings me to this story that uh, I came across. The attraction between friends uh, of opposite sexes. Now, now, this is an interesting subject that you don't hear a lot of people talk about. But I am one of those people that I'm a firm believer that, uh, that friends can't be friends if they're sexually attracted to one another. You're talking about uh, friends of the opposite sex. Exactly. 
But or you can't the be, same sex, for that matter. Well, hold on, they can if they have sex together. Because today, in today's day and age, it's different. No, no, they can if they're having sex together. But that's a relationship, all right. It becomes a you know, a relationship. But you can be friends with a guy and not be attracted to them. Absolutely, and the same vice versa. See, I'm not attracted to you, so I can be friends with you. Then shut your face about me sleeping with you, asshole. I just think it's fun to get your eyes, get a, get a rise out of you. What? Yeah, see, you ain't got nothing to say about that. I, you get, I'm surprised because... Because you make me physically ill. I'm surprised you actually think that you would be my type in the first place, Mel. I'm... Wow. Just so you know, I what? believe of every man and, gr- and woman friendship... What? One of the two more than likely has an attraction for the other. Nine I disagree. Times. I disagree really? with you. I totally disagree. I mean, I think for the, I mean, for the most part, because I, I definitely have uh, several chick friends that I have no attraction for. I did it one time. But don't now. But, but they probably but have gen- attraction but, for you. But generally speaking, uh, you know, I have no clue. But generally speaking, yes, I think you're right. I think that's. I see that in quite a few, you know, uh, different sets of friends. That well, I see it. I see it happening. Don't get me wrong. I agree that it happens. But I'm saying that it's not. It's not ninety nine. I, I would say that there's a, a lot uh, better. The reason change. you're saying that because things never occur doesn't mean they're not feeling that way. Typically, and the one person that does feel that way won't tell them why they feel that way because they're embarrassed by it and they know that ain't going to happen. But generally speaking, there's one thing that's attracting the one. That's what kind of makes the friendship grow and stay strong because one of them is always the more, okay. what's up, what are you up to, what's going that on? That goes back to women are emotionally driven, men are sexually driven. Don't disagree. The man probably wants to bang the chick or the chick wants to date the man. Not have sex, but maybe date the man. But they remain friends because one of them, has a boyfriend or girlfriend and they just you know they're not interested but generally speaking I'm gonna and go that's on the considered that's considered cheating though in my opinion no, possibly so. if you're entertaining the idea of screwing somebody else honey that's what you call cheating all right that's what you call no, you I wasn't being talking a about that you I was said, talking about the friendship thing because Chloe and I are good friends and you there and is are no good friends and you said you would bang Chloe one time on this show yeah if the uh, as, uh, as opposed like, to Dave <laughs> <laughs> you actually said you banged because I was in the room. Like, <laughs> we were, me and Chloe were the only two bang left on Earth. Before I banged Dave. Like, you see the smile on her face? Look at the glee in her eyes as she now, says that. So there's probably see. something there. Brandon. She, did, is she not brought up? Okay, now, 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 now follow that now. We're going we're gonna to dissect what she just said. She said if we were the only two left on the Earth, she would she would bang Chloe before she'd bang me. Right. Which means that if I killed Chloe, I might get I a little pickle tickle. I still bang you. <laughs> The earth would die. Okay, well. Like, that would be it. <laughs> the earth would die. Mel, you and Chloe are friends, right? Yes. Okay, yes. you're married, so we respect that. And Chloe obviously is taken with this young lady. Uh-huh. I forget your name. Sorenza. 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 All right, so. I like Sorenza. So, basically, though, just be open here. If you weren't married and his girlfriend wasn't sitting next to you right now, and probably even if she is sitting next to you, you would consider the fact of sleeping with Chloe. No. No. I don't mix. Hold on. Stop it. Mm-hmm. If y'all weren't in no. business together, if you just were friends. No. You're going to say I don't mix business and pleasure what you're about to say. It, and I no. Just. Chloe, is, I don't mix friends <laughs> with ah. sex. Okay. Forget being friends. R- really? Come on, dude. Yeah. We don't like <laughs> each other. You're mean? having to go to the last scenario. <laughs> I'm, I swear to God. No. So you're not friends with your husband who you have sex with? That's on a different level. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it the is. The person you date that you end up marrying, I hope your buddy, I hope your friends, it's just a good kind of starting point for a relationship. Yeah, but mm. I have plenty of guy friends that I'm not attracted to, and I would not That's have fine, but they probably would have banged you. That's, no. You don't no, know that. One, oh. one of my oh, best no. I, I could ring I'm one sorry, of them Mel. right now. I don't doubt there's a one out of the ten. I said 90%. There's a one out of ten that don't want to bang you, and you don't want to bang them. I promise you, though, the other eight guys or nine guys out of those ten guys that you're buddies with want to bang you or you want to bang them. It's okay. No. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's probably it's, true. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It just, it's, it's just one of those, like, just stupid natural yeah, things. I'm going to have to agree. And you know what? It's, you know, it's, just, it, it's just the way the world right. goes and, and just... And, close, it it's it's and like you know what, you may not even never act on it. You may never even even when you're drunk or whatever. But that that feeling just kind of still lies within. But and there's close, never it's, been it's that feeling it's between like from I've got from Chloe at all. Like well, we are friends. There's well, hold never on, Chloe. Did, have you, we should ask this in all fairness. Oh yeah. Okay, have I'm you ever considered because this is another scenario? Maybe you didn't want to bang him. Have you ever had lustful thoughts? It's okay. You are together now. In the past, it didn't matter. She likes girls anyway. In fact, this might open up a door for you. Have you ever had lustful <laughs> thoughts about? Have you ever considered fucking? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever considered having it's sexual? Not any worse than what we say. Go ahead. Wait, uh, I think the, the one time yeah. I saw you in the boots, you come in to pick up a prize at the uh, at the radio station. 
Okay, point done. I was like, I was like who's, that, who's that hot chick? Just you would have to point. do her in the boots? But that's before we knew he, each other. It doesn't mean he had a sexual attraction to you. We then weren't became, friends that's what, then. That's what became... Brandon, the, it was only because she was wearing boots at the time, though. I mean, <laughs> that doesn't count. Why do you think he opened... Why well, do you think he's open to now. becoming your friend? He was sexually attracted to you for a second. He's like, let's become friends. And now maybe he's past that. But... That's what opened up the door of friendship there. Yeah, maybe you, you No, but so you good. see someone, it's like, oh, you're hot. I'd bang you, but they, you, you're not friends with them. You don't have, like, but any kind what, of connection. But that's what started, started the friendship, and that never goes away. It's always No, what actually started the friendship. I just banged this chick that I've known for 20 years because she calls it, come, let's do it. So I'm like, okay, I'll be on the plane. I'll get this out of the way. No, what started the friendship was my accent and him wanting people, like me, okay. to do the things uh, for hold the show. Hold on a second. I, I, and I got to say this from a guy's perspective. It's so it's so cute how women are so, uh, you know, just clueless. It is. Okay, well, here's about, a per- about how that works. Well, here's a perfect example. Like, Sorinda's been my friend forever, but I've always wanted to bang Sorinda. Except for whenever you were younger, just saying, younger, younger. Since I knew her since when she was. Yeah, Mr. Sweet. Creepy, keep yeah, going. Yeah, exactly, huh? Yeah. The statue like of limitations has passed. You're okay. Yeah, you exactly. Can <laughs> but she, yeah. She's, she's 15 follow. now, yeah. so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, in, in latter years, I was like going, Serena's grown up to be a little hottie. So just FYI. Yeah. Aw. He'll hug or something. Yeah, really. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. You're getting hot sex tonight. Did I mean, there's, that? Uh, look, here's, <laughs> Mel, uh, me and you, me and you are, are, are one of those uh, special things where we could have just this mad, wonderful relationship as friends. Uh-huh. And the reason why is because neither one of us are attracted to each other. Whatever, dude. We could probably be like exactly. the closest of friends. I mean, like right. we could like you know, spoon, just because we're we're that close. You don't you don't spoon with your friends, and I thought that you know? we had I a do. pretty good friendship anyway. So <laughs> apparently, <laughs> I was wrong. I spoon with Chloe all the time. Well, what you and Chloe do, and that goes back to you being a closet homosexual, is your business. In all fairness, really not in the closet. No, he's pretty much blatantly told us the day. I just have a hard time sleeping if clothes not in the bed next to me. There's nothing wrong with that. So you have to be hard when clothes in the bed with you. Didn't say Again. hard. Hey, we didn't bring any of that <laughs> stuff in there. I didn't say hard. Again, it goes back to the whole homosexual tendencies. Well, bisexual, I should say, because you've got oh, This girl is so openly sexually. Would you be down to maybe have Dave watch you and Chloe have sex? Totally. I knew it. Wow. Boy, now there's a picture I don't want to paint. But would that be somehow turn you on, possibly, that he's watching? Okay, now, hold on a second. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's go would, ahead. would, wouldn't you? Brandon, hold on. Let's back the F up for just a second, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's fun to joke about it, but that one kind of scares me a little, all right? I don't <laughs> really see that. Go ahead, you wouldn't want to watch Club Bang her? No. You liar. No, I don't. I'm you wouldn't want to see her naked? I'm afraid of what my, I see on Club. Awesome. Forget that. You, would you want to see her naked? It's yes or no? Well, I don't want Club in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you want a training the room? You tell me you wouldn't watch him bang her. Okay, you, hold you on. Want a closed, training? totally closed. May, maybe. There you go. I'm talking about. He's coming out of the closet right there. Yeah, just a step at a time. This is not step gay. At a time. It's, you want to see her get banged, dude? It's scared. just voyeurism, man. That's all it is. I'm not a penis kind of guy. That's not what you said last week, and we have it recorded. I was just, for the love of God, once there was again, no joking. really take me seriously. There was yeah, I really no do. Joking. I need to like jack around some of that audio a little bit. Don't use the word jack around during this conversation. Yeah. Thanks, Claude. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> well, look, I think we got a lot covered today, man. You guys, thank you for joining my show. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> look at that look. <laughs> hey, I. You know, I, I'm just saying that 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 the bottom line is women and men can't be friends unless there's no attraction One it's just the, not possible yeah w- and you, you get a, you get the argument a lot that it is and it's just not you know a lot of times it's the woman arguing that fact there there i believe there can be one or the other like i believe women can be friends with a guy or guys can be friends with a girl but one of the other is what's keeping that friendship strong because they have an attraction deep down it may be um, hidden but maybe it's there. maybe that's a part of it but once again that's the reason why they can't be friends i think you're talking at your ass well, you know what? And See, here's and there's the woman saying, no, it's possible. Everybody can be friends. We can all love each other. Yeah, yeah. You wake up the next morning, you got something sticking up your rear end because he's spooning with you. I'm like the chick whisperer. Okay, I got this. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? <laughs> hey, I thought we I'm were friends. Sorry. I'm sorry. Next thought, week. I thought I, I thought I could put this there because we're friends. Also, too, it can go in phases. Like, for instance, one of my best friends on the planet... Uh, we started just being friends because we uh, we're work, we kind of worked together in the same field. And then and then uh, it was a lot of sexual tension. And then she went off, got married, blah, blah. And, like, oh, well, we've wait, always wait, stayed wait, friends. Back up, Clum. What? 
there's like a there's like a huge hole there between fans 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 have sexual tension. Now, I'm just saying like the, it, I'm just saying well, it basically started out um, just friends, sexual tension, and then just straight friendship, and we we want nothing from each other. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying. Did something happen? It just to went through phases. Uh, not really. I mean, like she went and got married, and I mean, kind of lost touch a little a little bit, but just you know what I mean? Those feelings just detached. You know what I mean? Detached. They had dissipated. Nice. Yeah, dissipated. There you go. That's a good word. Just saying. You just went. We went through phases. But there was that a, a relationship, friendship. Well, you this know, can built happen. Up from that. This can happen with uh, you know straight male, female. It can happen with male, male, female, female. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's the same situation. What are those combos again? Straight male and female, <laughs> male, male. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Female, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, you, you know, it can happen with all of them. You know, and, and, and I found this out recently. Um, a buddy of mine is gay. A very good friend of mine. He came. He came out. No, no, he he's he was gay when I met him. Um, very gay, but a very good friend of mine. What's and, the difference uh, between gay and very gay? Oh, if you're gay. You're gay. Flamboyant. Oh no, this is that flaming. a good word? There, well, yeah, well, I know, but like, flaming. oh, okay, I know, but 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 just because, like, a couple of weeks into it, he liked to, you know, bite my nipples. What? What? I, he had a thing. Every once in a while, when I'd say hey to him, he'd just reach up and bite my nipple. I was like, all right, man, you through know, the shirt or skin you got to cut skin that out, man. Lift the skin. No, he literally threw the shirt. I mean, just I mean, and it. And it so you kind of made my nipples hard a little you're bit. You're saying you just kind of let it happen? You're just like a whatever type thing? Yeah, Very I mean, just, you know, he was just joking around, just having fun, you know, just a buddy. I mean, you know, he didn't pull anything out, you know. Clark, have you ever had any of your gay friends just bite your nipple? Just uh, like, just not not gay friends, no. I had some straight friends do it before. And then be okay See? with it? Just a buddy. Like, it all depends, yeah. Just a buddy biting the nipple. See That's how it all starts. So I'm, <laughs> I'm all for biting nipples. Well, let me but let me let me finish my. my dude, story. why is she not on your show behind a mic in front of the camera with her enthusiasm toward y'all's topics? Well, that, that's that she wants to let you watch. This is a po- can Mel's I, can out. Can I finish what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to tell a story. Mel's man. out. No, no, no. Mel's out on the. Oh, great. Mel's See, out of the starting. sexual part. She's down for some See, stuff, dude. You're why right. you're not hitting Thank that? Thank you for clarifying Look, that, Brandon. The truth is, the truth is, you know, a lot of women have talked about. I think what the big thing is, a lot of women have talked about how sexy I am as a big guy. Don't That's, get me wrong. I, I understand. I agree. Don't get me wrong. See, don't get me wrong. I mean, for. For a big guy, I'm sexy. It doesn't mean I'm sexy for all women. It just means that for a big guy, I'm I'm you know. You've had some women say that before. Hell yeah, I've had I've had I've had nothing but beautiful women my whole entire life, uh, both growing up and in my adult life. I've never had sex with What's an ugly woman. What's the big stick there? It's gonna never go had sex with an Are ugly woman. Are you scared of women, Dave? And do you? Hell no. Come on, strong for. Hell no. Watch this. Come here. Come here. Bite that nipple, baby. Right there. Right there. Be, be gentle, though, because, you know, I got <laughs> sensitive make it nipples. Make it hard. Yeah, don't, don't flick it. Just oh, you gotta flick it. <laughs> now, use your tongue to flick it. You got to flick it. Ready? Flick it. Or you're going to go straight. Oh, she's going to see ah. Straight to nipples. Oh, my God. She's oh not kissing goodness. me goodbye tonight. <laughs> God. Good, good luck with kissing her so later. So, for everyone that has I think I got a little. She is. Yeah. Oh I, think I, got a, I think I got a little uh, three-inch <laughs> chubby there going. <laughs> I, got a, I got an Audi, not an Innie right now. I got to tell you, dude, I'm glad that we're hot. keeping this PG because if this was <laughs> just after hours, I would challenge her to all sorts of stuff. Dude, I would still hang out your chick, dude, like if you didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> because she's a trip, bro. I can't wait till my wife sees that. Yeah, she's, she's going to get a little turned on by that. I would like to take her out to that. pick up chicks, dude. She'd oh, yeah, she's, she's, wings, she's a wild man. child, dude. Well, to finish, crazy. to finish my story, and by the way, thank you, dear. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I was, I'm going to leave it there. Taryn might want to lick on it for a while. Would you, tuck his, would you touch his yeah. private parts? Mm, well, I might. I, okay, no. She looks at Chloe. Holy cow. I love this girl. She looked at you for <laughs> acceptance of it. Let's, let's she, she wouldn't enjoy it, but she would do it. What a trooper she is. <laughs> That's a woman right there that's about her, truthful her but man. Res- truthful but respectful. But you got to understand. Sorry. Exactly. There's Brandon's not, but she is. And that, <laughs> when, when we start talking about that, there's permissions that must be uh, granted before. The, not the, if it's for uh, entertainment value. You know there's not. <laughs> yeah, there's. Lots of people do love scenes on TV and stuff mm-hmm. and for shows, and they go home to their significant others. It's freaking. Okay, would you do a love scene with me since it's just uh, entertainment? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> 
but it's but it's a scripted thing. Why it's did not. You make a pass on me in front of everybody. Yeah, really. You know, it's just for the show. Come you know on, what I mean? man. It's just, I won't different. do any tongue. Just lip to lip. I run a heterosexual program. Would you touch my junk for? Uh, I'm too straight. Entertainment too purposes. Straight. Huh? What, what if I what if I scripted the whole thing out? Scripted you know I mean? it out. We we do we're doing. I don't like do gay for pay though. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no gay, gay for pay. No gay. Yeah, for I pay? guess people have the limitations. I guess just like uh, chicks. Some chicks don't do. Do anal. Some do. Some yeah, don't. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's okay. Like a so speaking of anal, I'm talking <laughs> about my gay <laughs> friend, right? And and for the longest time we'd been friends, and it it turns out that uh, this whole entire time he's had an attraction to me. See how you can't get off the gay guy thing when we have a total female attraction thing going on here. That's heterosexual and you're back to the guy I was just you. trying to finish my story before you know go ahead because I, I don't want to leave people hanging <laughs> I know you don't you want them up <laughs> but that's a great thing if you leave them hanging then they have to come back next week and what and get the end of it I hate that I hate to be continued crap keep talking I'm just shut up dude. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> done interrupting dude. I feel like I'm hurting a relationship over here also a hurting what relationship Chloe this chick Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Seriously, we're good. No, really. I mean. See, she wants more, bro. Look at this face on her. She's like, that was <laughs> yeah. not a big deal at all. It's just a nipple. And I'm like totally. And Chloe knows I am like totally safe. <laughs> <laughs> me. Me, on the other hand, is a completely different story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm just like, I'm totally safe. You, you gotta worry. <laughs> you what? go. Oh, did we miss that? Did we miss that? You missed it. Oh, I feel dude. tainted, dude. I told Your you show is that. rubbing off on me. Big Wait, they're going to kiss. Oh. Yeah. What did she say? Yeah. She had a little piece of Big Day because they tongue kissed. Oh, yeah. It's like kissing. You know, how does my say, nipple, f- how does my nipple smell? taste smell? Why did you ruin that good moment by doing that? Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, you had a little. Had I a like little, the red lipstick. Dude, I'm gonna little, tell you what I hate. What, what's scary about <laughs> she her? She had though. a little, she had a little big Dave in her <laughs> mouth there. Like she just I think she's a chick it. that you go out. You gotta be careful because she's liable to get you some fights, dude. Like a dude, I know you're the type of girl. A dude says something. What you looking at? Really? She and they close like, what the hell? Shut up, girl. <laughs> like, has that ever happened to y'all? <laughs> you no, do that though, don't you? I bet you have. Come on. What? You, yeah, there you go. You yeah. take you start stuff. But people come at you. You come back at them, don't you? Nothing wrong with that, right? If some dude says something that looks you funny, that you don't want looking at you. You're gonna be like, quit looking at me. What are you doing, right? No, you know what? She's crazy, but I've, I've yet to see to where it, it crosses the point to where it, it creates it's dangerous an issue. for you. You know, to where it's an issue. You know what I mean? To where it's dangerous. For, I agree. Though. You know what I mean? You can you can't run across those women. That Let's ask her. Look can, at her face. We'll get and, you into a what I'm fight. saying is like when she's never. It, it's never. It's never come across that because she knows where to cut it off. Have you ever, when you were younger, how old are you? 31. 31. When you were younger, at any point, did you pop, were you ever on a date or with a guy who's I was married to you? for nine years. Okay, but almost. were you ever with your husband or a boyfriend, and they were in proximity, close to you, and some dude looked at you funny, and you said, and you bucked up to him all loud, obnoxious, where it was True. over the top. I stole their clothes. So you had to step up and maybe get in a fight because of it. <laughs> nope. No? Okay. Yeah, because the police like, came, but that was a different story. Well, the police showed up, <laughs> but what the hell? That's, you know, it, you know. It's just because I took his clothes. Oh, goodness. Wow, I took his clothes. Wow. They dropped on the floor. I like this girl. This is freaking Jerry. Yeah, flavor. but I would never do that to him. To him? He's different. All right. I just think you might be the kind of girl love, that's going to stand love up for changes. yourself. Where oh, I will stand <laughs> up for myself. Because you're doing that, the guy has to fight the guy next to you because he can't hit a girl. Love changes a lot of things. Whatever. You can hit a girl. As long as she steps back up, you'll be fine. No. So she'll forgive you tomorrow, anyways. They like being hit sometimes. Well, personally, <laughs> if Claude's yeah, right. If, if Claude's anything like myself, if I I've had I've had women that I've dated like that, and I'll tell you what, I just walk away. You know, if they're gonna start the pussy. fight, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them finish it. Ain't no pussy about it. I just don't. I hey, I you gonna start a fight, bitch? You handle it. You end it. I'm done. I'm I think done. I think that Sor- Sorinda agrees with that. Right, I do. I'll because end it. I think I think that she could take a lot of people. I'm just saying, or she may be small, but I she would turn into a little tornado and whip some ass. Yeah, there you as, go. As a and guy, my ego <laughs> wouldn't allow her to fight. I'd have to say, that. as a guy, I know you're not trying to make that happen, but as a guy, unlike the guy at the movie there that jumped over the balcony and took off and ran off in his car and left the baby behind. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Of course not, because you don't listen to the news. <laughs> Aurora, Colorado, the guy that jumped out and left his kid and family behind that was at, they were getting shoot, shot at. Oh, I didn't know that. That's of course you didn't. It was three a major month old. news. Right? Three-month-old? That's pretty cowardly, man. You didn't know this really? 
That's pretty cowardly. Flo, you tell me you knew about this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about the Korea stuff, though, until I told you. I told you, you I've been stuff. preoccupied this week. Now get off my ass, all right? Well, you started the whole program talking about the Aurora shootings, right, Jimmy? <laughs> Did he not? I, I was talking about them a little bit, all right? <laughs> it was your breaking news of what happened last Thursday night in Colorado. <laughs> Preoccupied. That's fine. It's it's fine if, if it's fine if, if Dave I'm gonna is. Go, I'm gonna go home. If Dave is a little impervious, and actually, yeah, actually, I I've got to head out. It's past nine o'clock. I gotta I gotta jet. Yeah, quick. I have to go too. Asshole. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna think of something to quit back with, but I'm. Quit back with. So why don't we just why don't we just uh, continue this conversation next week? I don't think so. No, hold on a minute. Something's coming to me. I like the way you moan. What? <laughs> you pissed me off. I'm sorry, dude. I apologize. You know, I work hard. I know. Look, it, my my show do? is not about. My show is is to bring people up, not down. It is. Shut up. Nobody's talking to you right now. It's an A and B conversation. See your way out. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so oh, witty. It was so witty. Like nobody's ever said that before. Yeah, that was just groundbreaking. Was it, was oh, it's like, so witty. Dave, I, in all before. fairness, I tried to get up and walk out and give the mic to Mel when she walked in. Did no, I'm I just simply you saying. You told me to stay put. I did. Some, some, I'm just saying that that I do not concentrate on material to, uh, to you know, we're going to talk about it when it needs to be talked about. I'm not going to go into detail about it. I'm not going to do a whole hour and a half show on something so sad. It's sad. It bothers a lot of people. It hurts a lot of people. We're very upset about it. And damn it, it shouldn't have happened. But there's crazy MFers out there that do this crap. And we got no choice but to deal with it. But we brought up a subject. And I tried to reference it back to what you started the whole show about. What happened in Colorado, but yet you didn't know some of the details of what, what happened there. But see, that True. comes really down funny. to show prep, and Dave doesn't do yeah. it. Anyway. That's, what did I just get through saying? Does anybody makes Does anybody listen to what I just got through saying? I was saying? just reiterating your point. That My you point was I didn't prepare. do show prep on all of that. I did he, quick he, show he prep. I read the story. I, I did. I did my. I, I, I gained an opinion that I wanted to talk about. I talked about that opinion and let it let, let it go. What's your, so I, what's think, I think what's happened in North Korea has got us all down right now. Yeah, it's so what's um, yeah, before I leave, what's your final thoughts on Korea and what, what do you think we should do, Dave? I don't know, man. Those little guys going around blowing shit up. I think uh, <laughs> we should probably just, uh, you know. Now, what's the statement you said earlier? What was it? Which? Unity? Yes. Oh, yeah. Glory holes in North Korea. That's what we need. All right, folks, you're listening to the Big Dave and Chloe Show. We'll see you guys next Thursday night, 7.30 to 9. Good to have you guys right here with us. Good night.